Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and we're here to do your weekly love reading for March 12th through the 18th. Just bear with me as I shuffle. I think it's best to shuffle on screen. It's not about getting it over with. It's about authentic authenticity to me, being authentic. So... We're going to get one oracle card, and then we're going to break right into the tarot deck. Ooh, health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Perhaps it's a week to work on your health. Oh, that one didn't go in. We're going to take it. Ooh, four of wands. That is content. Okay, that's contentment. That's commitment. It could be a gathering. You may be attending some sort of gathering this week. This is you be doing very well on your own, taking good care of yourself. If you health, you know, physically, mentally, internally, externally, taking very, very good care of yourself, doing a good job, being on your own. Oh, there could be an offer of love or something new, an unexpected and welcome offer. Could be even emotional support. It doesn't have to be love, okay? It doesn't have to be a romantic partner. But somebody could be offering you some emotional support. You may need it at this time for some reason. Maybe you are going through some sort of depression and somebody is trying to bring you out of it. That could certainly be the case. This could even be self-love. Okay, because it looks like, you know, you're, you're bringing some health back. Ooh. Okay, so the thing is, is, is you've been pretty, pretty bitter. You may, you may be, maybe you've, uh, you're feeling, maybe you're angry. Maybe you're angry. Maybe you're angry about being left alone. Okay. Maybe you're being angry because you don't want to be alone and your wish fulfillment is really in with a commitment, okay? I mean, that's kind of what it looks like to me. It looks to me like, um, you know, you have a loss of self here. I mean, there's a, this is a loss of self. It is. And I feel it's because you had love to offer. You had a love to offer to someone and they may have left you alone. You know, left you out alone. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't, uh, yes, it is, it's like there's been some sort of loss here. There's been some sort of loss where I think that you're reluctant to let go. I mean, this is what this is, okay? It feels like you you were being very genuine. You were offering someone genuine love, okay? Because you don't want to be single. Even though you do very well being single, very well independent, your wish fulfillment is in a commitment. I mean, that's what... You're wishing for love. I mean, that's what you want. Your ultimate wish is to be in a firm, solid commitment. And I think that you are left being very angry, lonely, and bitter by someone because they walked away. And they didn't reciprocate the love that you were offering. And now, I mean, with the high priestess reverse, it's like there's a loss of self. It's like a t it's repression. Secrets that have been causing you a lot of depression. Probably making you ill. And you're being called to really consider your health in this situation. Something has happened that is making you ill. I mean, and here you are, reversed, you know, and you can't, you can't deny 
the meaning of that card. You cannot, as much as you want to, you cannot deny it. The meaning of that card reversed is lonely, bitter, and angry. That is the basis of this reading. It is the middle card. And it does represent you. And I think that, you know, you have the right to be. I do. I think that you have the right to be, Libra. And that's a man or a woman, okay? That's a man or a woman. This is a general reading. Because I feel like you were genuinely had love that you were, true love that you were offering to somebody. You did. It was true love. You considered it true love. But I'm not sure that this person was ready. I'm not sure that this person was ready for love. And it feels like it, that they 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 came and they went and they it moved pretty quickly and now they've they you know now it's a loss. Now there's a lot of disappointment. And you're reluctant to see the new approach. You are. You're reluctant to see that there is something else. You know, you are. You are with both of these cards. With the Six of Swords reversed and the Five of Cups, you are reluctant to see that there are is something else. Because you have to master your emotions to be able to see that. Okay? You need to be able to move. You need to be able to accept the truth. You need to be honest with yourself at this time. And it feels like you're feeling like you're feeling very upset. I think that you're feeling very, very upset that this that your wishes have not been fulfilled. And you're probably in. Uh, oh, what's the this mode? This is the Knight of Swords. You know, you are in. Look at this. You are in. Um despair you are you're in despair because of this this did not lead to wish fulfillment because you you knew exactly what you wanted and now there's been some sort of somebody's made a change somebody has made a conscious change and now and now there's there's no there's no it's a Ten of Cups reversed. There's no future relationship here. It's done. It's over. It's over. And that is a sadness. I mean, the Nine of Cups next to the Ten of Cups, both reversed. There's a lot of, there's a lot of emotional hurt here. And it feels, and you're feeling quite lost, dead inside. I feel dead inside. Because there's no more growth. There's 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 no more you know, there's there's no more power left in this. It's time for me and you're in denial. It's like you're in denial because there was this was love. This was love. And there's there's no the thing is is now you have to accept the truth. But you're still not because that's the ace of swords reversed. So this is a dead end. It's dead, it's over. It is, it is, it's over. Something is over. And it's made you very angry and upset and bitter. And you'll probably be bitter at me. And I'll get a lot of thumbs down on this. And that's okay. Because there's denial here. Denial. That's what that is. The Ace of Swords reverse is denial. And you can't deny the meaning of that card either. There's no hope. For a renewal of this relationship. And that's what's happened here. Is now you, you've you come to this realization. You know. You know. You know. You have the clarity. You know there's no hope. But you're still. There's still an illusion. There's still some sort of illusion. Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. If you do not accept the truth. Consequences of your choice. 
if you do not accept the truth. That's where you'll stay. <coughs> this was toxic. It's time to free yourself. This is the devil card. You must free yourself from the this karmic tie. You have to take action to free yourself. This is the devil reversed. It's time to restore control in your life and go down a new road. Go through a new door. That's what needs to happen. It's time for you to release the past and wake up. Forgive yourself and others. <coughs> this is karma as well. Karma and karma. This is a judgment card. It's not a second chance in this reading. Okay? This is a spiritual message using the cards. You can't make it be into something you, that you want. And I know that's what you're good because you're in denial. This is not a second chance here. If something has ended and you are bitter and lonely and angry about it and you don't want to accept it. And you are being called to go down a new path. And drop this toxic karmic situation that is making you physically ill you have this fear of growing old alone I think you're in this period of crisis it's like a midlife crisis because of this rejection and it's time for you to refocus Refocus. Focus on your future. Work on yourself. And make this change. And free. This is personal freedom. Ten of Wands reverse. It's personal freedom. It's making the conscious change for real. Really consciously letting go of this situation that you have been, been, been in denial over and been so upset over about this connection, this commitment that fell apart. It's time to be practical, to take the practical approach. So that you can grow. It's time for growth. It's time to expand your horizons and free yourself from the chains of that devil situation that you were in. You have to free yourself from those chains because they are literally making you ill. So is there new love coming in this week? No, there's not. Because you still have to free yourself from whatever it is that's making you bitter. Angry. And upset. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Let go of the bitterness. Let go of whatever this is that didn't work out once and for all. Let it go.